Hey, Shalom. First of all, to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekwakadash, Yahweh, who the word only calls God, Yahweh Shai, who the word only calls Jesus. When he give a double honor to the apostles, the great millstone, who has taught me this truth, when he give a peace and blessings to the eye, came across the four corners of the earth, who teach this truth and risk that life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Loading the video is edifying. Only I can get some from this video. I'm going to get a couple of precepts here. I'm going to get in, uh, into a second Thessalonians, the second chapter. And whatever precepts come to mind, I'll grab and Lord willing this edifying to you, brothers. Okay, this is a second Thessalonians 2 and 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first. And, you know, we have fell away as far as, you know, Israel being, um, you know, being, uh, being even, you know, known as Israel. And the majority of, of Israelites don't even understand that they're Israelites. So we have completely fell away from our heritage, man. Okay? You know, which is a curse indeed. Right? You know, and, and it was part of the plan of these, uh, you know, these heathen, man. Okay? If you, you just look in, in, in history and you look in, uh, you know, as far as their agendas, their agenda was this, man. This is why if you gain any type of status here and... Uh, America and you're able to get in certain rooms um, with these Amalekites, man, you'll understand that, oh, okay, you know, these people clearly understand that, you know, they're not the people. I'm talking about the higher ups, okay? And they clearly understand that um, they're ruling by, by a lie, okay? They're ruling by a lie, you know, and the majority of the world believes in this lie, okay? The so-called white man has deceived you into not thinking <laughs> that he's the devil, man. Okay? But yet his whole his whole uh society is, you know, based off lies, based off pseudoscience. Right? When you go into the you know, you look into the Renaissance era, you know, their acts were to deceive. It wasn't to, oh, let's, you know, tell the truth about what everything is and tell the truth about where they come from and this and that. No, it wasn't that. Right. You know, you have a thing called iconoclasm that they committed. OK, these motherfuckers was like, OK, you know, they're going to rule by any means. But they, guess what? They were created to do that. They were created. To, that's why we call them devils. They were created to do that. And joining them are, are the, the rest of the heathen. They are in cahoots, man. OK. Let's get that in Psalms. This is Psalms uh, 83 and 5. It says, uh, let's lock it, brothers. Give me one second. Well, it says, uh, for they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against it. Let's go into that slide. This is Psalms 83 and, um, and, uh, I'll start at two. It says, for lo, that enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Right? The scriptures say that they hate us. Our enemies hate us. And you, you know, you'll be a damn fool to believe anything these people say. We, we look, regardless of how you feel about what I say or what brothers say or, what, you know, what we say, you know, we're here to tell you the truth, and this is what it is. You can look in history, and you could. This it's plain that these motherfuckers, you know, how they feel about us, man. Okay. And guess what? It's going to be even more plain in the times to come. Okay, it says, For lo, thine, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us, they have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation. Okay? This is part of the, <laughs> this is part of the reason why our people don't understand who they are. As being Israelites, talking about the so-called black man, so-called Native American man, and so-called Latino man and woman by way of our father's side, okay? Because you get your lineage by your, by way of your father, okay? Since they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance, okay? You have to hate the people, right? And you have to have a cold fucking blueprint, and a cold way of doing things and a cold way of ruling society to try to cut a nation off from being a people.
You got to have a cold fucking blueprint. That's like, you know, you know what you got to do to stop China, Chinese people from believing that they're Chinese. <laughs> like, you got to have a cold. You got to take their land. You got to call them all by words and proper. You got to call them all kind of different names. Right. You got to put them in the captivity. You got to take if they had a God, you got to take their God away. You got to take their language away. You got to start. You know what I mean? Then you got to put another people in there that don't resemble them at all and say, you know what? This is the people. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. You got to kill. You got to put, you know, pay, you know, and, and they're heathen. You know, I'm just using that as an example, man. OK, because that's what happened to us. Right. But people, you know, fail to realize that, you know, because they're so far gone. OK, it says they have said cut them. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance for they have consulted together with one consent. They have consulted together with one consent. That's why they all going to go into captivity. Right. Some going to get it worse than others. Right. Scripture say that there should be no more remaining of the house of Esau. Scripture say what? Jacob have I loved. Esau have I hated. The Lord is going to show you. The Lord is going to show us, okay? The Lord is going to show the world, man, that who he has, who he loves, and who he hates, okay? And you might say, well, damn, you know, why he hate Esau? Well, look, just look at the track history of Esau, man. When you go to, when you read in 1 Maccabees, man, right? And you read about, uh, you read about what was going on as far as making our, you know, Hellenizing our people. These motherfuckers, I'm telling you, man, you know, scriptures say that. Uh, you know, the generals that were set up after Alexander, because I, when you go into the history, Alexander didn't really put hell on, on Jake like that, you know? And if I'm not mistaken, his mentor was was Jake, okay? Um, but uh, um, what I was going to say, but when he died, his general, his, when his generals, you know, came into power after him, hell's, you know, hell was increased, evil was increased throughout the earth, Wickedness was increased throughout the earth, man. Okay? Come on, man. These motherfuckers was doing all kind of shit, man. All kind, man. All kind of shit. Even to this day. When you read the first Maccabees, man. Right? And you read about, uh, you read about what was going on as far as making our, you know, Hellenizing our people. These motherfuckers, I'm telling you, man. You know, scriptures say that, uh, you know, the generals that were set up after Alexander, because I, when you go into the history, Alexander didn't really put hell on, on Jake like that, you know? And if I'm not mistaken, his mentor was, was Jake. Okay. Um, but, uh, um, what I was going to say, but when he died, his general, when his generals, you know, came into power after him, hell's, you know, hell was increased. Evil was increased throughout the earth. Wickedness was increased throughout the earth, man. Okay? Come on, man. These motherfuckers was doing all kind of shit, man. All kind, man. All kind of shit. Even to this day. Jake been Hellenized. Jake was, Jake been Hellenized, man. Before the Lord came on the scene. When he came as, you know, as Yahweh Shai. Right? Jake been Hellenized, man. Jake was fucked up, going off. Okay, when you look into uh, like Greek mythology and all that shit, right? Zeus and you know, you know, uh, Keely, all this, all that bullshit, all that pagan shit, all that come from Jake, man. You know, Jake. Scripture say Jake surpassed, um, surpassed the the deeds of the wicked. A rough paraphrase in the scripture. These motherfuckers are wicked. You know, Jake is wicked, man. Uh, you see how these niggas is in their neighborhoods, man. You, man, I was watching some shit uh, about St. Louis, Chicago, Jackson, Mississippi, all these places where it's you know a lot of you know Southern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom, a lot of Jake at right. Which some of them brothers might be uh, in Chicago, might be uh, Reuben, you know. But nonetheless, right, a lot of niggas, right, in this, in this, in these different places, right, and it's. These niggas are like ruthless with each other, man. I'm talking about ruthless. 
ruthless with each other. I'm talking about you had one dude in Philly going to his uh, enemy's grave site and digging, trying to dig up the body. Like, bro, what the? Jake is. What? You don't see fucking Esau. You don't see Esau doing no shit like that, man. Esau is evil and wicked. But I ain't see Esau go and, you know, dig up, you know, no fucking dig up no grave, man. Like, what the fuck? Like, these niggas is wildin', man. Wildin'. You know? That's why, like, even when I was growing up, man, you know, because, you know, I got niggas in my family, like, that's, that's with that crazy shit. Like, you know, with, you know, the game banging and, you know, the, you know, just uh, with a lot of shit, right, that you see. Right, shooting, shootouts, you know what I'm saying? Niggas told gun. Anyway, right? And I always used to have, like, a disdain for that shit growing up. Like, just like, damn, this shit's stupid. Like, man, like, nigga, what is you niggas just doing it for? Like, for what? To impress other niggas? Like, what the fuck is... Like, who, you know? And then when you're around it so long, you end up getting caught up into that shit. Which I eventually, you know, did in a, in a, in a, in a, in a small way. Right? But before I could get... You know, all the way into it, you know, I found out the truth, man. You know, and the Lord got me out of that. You know, I've done, you know, dumb shit, you know. But when you sit back and realize, you know, when you sit back and analyze it, you know, you'd be like, man, what the fuck? Like, all for what? For what? And then you see the hardest, you wish you see this, this is the trickery, right? You see the toughest of niggas. I'm talking about this nigga had every bitch in the city. He had... All the money he was known for whacking everybody, wiping everybody nose. This nigga was just the nigga to fear, right? And then the nigga go like nigga go to jail. Nigga like that to go to jail. Thirty years, twenty years, twenty five years if you don't get life, right? And then he'll come home and tell, man, it ain't worth it. But you couldn't tell this nigga nothing thirty years prior. And that's a lot of these little niggas. Right? These little niggas are gonna go to that go to that pen. And get around, you know, other crash dummies and realize like, oh, shit, these niggas really, <laughs> these niggas really think like this. These niggas really don't know nothing else, right? These niggas is really like thinking that this is a way of life and this is what it is and accepted the fact that they was going to end up in that place or dead, right? And you're going to sit back and realize like, oh, now I got to survive amongst these niggas. And then if you make it out, right, you're going to have a mind like, man, that shit ain't worth it. When I'm here just to tell you, man, I don't, don't indulge in this shit at all. At, at all, man. That tough shit is not, it ain't really tough. You know, it's really, you know, I heard something the other day, man. I heard something the other day, not to ramble. But a lot of niggas ain't scared to die because they, cause they're afraid to live. Because living requires progression. Living, living requires taking action. Living requires upgrading, right? Living requires being better, right? When when you don't living living requires discipline. When you don't have none of that, you don't give a fuck about life, man. Right? So guess what? It's easy to put a gun in your hand and say, "Hey, nigga." Go whack these people, whack their people, and you're going to get some money for it, and you're going to get some notoriety for it, you're going to get some popularity for it, you're going to be feared, and bitches are going to like you. Certain bitches are going to like you. Right? A nigga going to take that every time because he already don't give a fuck. You know? But guess what? They're going to slap him with whatever number they slap him with if he survive the streets. And he going to come out with a whole new mindset, you know? I had a, you know, a, you know, a, a uncle, man, you know, that, you know, really not an uncle, but one of my dad homies, man, and uh, this dude was rich, man, I'm talking about, he was in the streets, though, but he, you know, he owned, you know, a barber, he owned a barber shop, uh, probably owned a couple different things, but he had a lot of money, man, a lot of money, right, out here where we at, you know, and, um, he was my dad, homie. You know what I'm saying? Him and my dad used to run together and shit. And he ended up, you know, going to jail doing, you know, 10 years. And I I, I ran into him like two months ago at the gym. You know, and this man had a conversation with me for about an hour and 30 minutes, man. 
you know, just talking to me like, you know, man, look, it ain't worth it, man. You, you know, you got a child now. You got this. You got that, man. I'm telling like he was telling me all the shit he regretted. Couldn't even. And, and you could tell jail fucked him up mentally in a way. You could tell what kind of like made his mind, you know, made his mind like off in a way. You know what I mean? Because he kept saying like, he, you know, when he said jail, you just look at his eyes and he'll look around his head. He's like, I can't, I can't, I can't go back there. You know, I just, I just you know, I'm like, damn, man, I got to get back on to my sons, man. You know, I just, you know, like, damn, you know, but guess what? When he was in the streets, I couldn't tell him nothing. Even my pops, when he was in the streets, you couldn't tell him nothing. But when he went to jail, he came back home and he like, man, I'm not, man, fuck that. <laughs> you know, so that's just a side note, like, you know, our main thing is this truth, man. That's what it is. You know, that's what it is, man. We are to serve you. How are you? How are you? Period, man. That's what we have to do. Okay. That's what it is. And that's why we don't give a fuck. And I don't give a fuck whether you people like it or not. Don't care. Because at the end of the day, when the time come, you people going to wish. I'm talking about Israelites, right? That got everything to say, everything negative to say. You're gonna wish that you have some type of works, man. Especially when you heard the call. This is Psalms 83 and um, five. It says, "For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom, and the Ishmaelites of Moab, and the Hagarines, Gebal and Ammon, and Amalek, the, Philist the Philistines, with the inhabitants of Tyre." So you got, you know. All the heathen nations in there, man. You know? Well, not all the heathen nations, but all the heathen nations are confederate against us. You know? So called white men, right? Arabs, the Chinese, the Jewish people. You can't even say their name, man. You know, the Japanese people, and the Africans, man. Me, you know, it's just like, you know, you have all this against us, but guess what? That's how it's supposed to go. That's how it's supposed to go. Okay? That's what it is. Because in due time, all these motherfuckers will be serv ser our servants, period, man. Okay? Why don't you get a load of that, man? This is uh, second, second Thessalonians 2 and uh, 4. It says, oh, no, I'll go back to 3. It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. That man of sin be be revealed the son of perdition right and that's esau okay for it says who opposes and exalted himself above all that is called the most high or that is worshiped so that he as the most high sitteth i'm gonna read that back so that he as god sitteth in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is god and he's not okay He's not, but guess what? That was a part of his plan because if that's what do you think this image come from? What do you think the image of anything holy? They they put their image on it, right? When you go into like you can move, watch movies about Egypt and this and that, they put their image. All that shit is strategically done. It's a it's a quote, and they say who he that controls images controls minds. Man, they understand how powerful the mind is. So guess what? If you could slap your picture on everything that that's supposed to be holy, everything that's supposed to be godly. That's going to confuse the people like, no, nah, you know, no, nah, so-called white man ain't ain't bad because, you know, Jesus, Jesus, white, he ain't like, but that's the far, the furthest thing from the truth, man. And that's blasphemy, man. Okay. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a punishment for that, man. Okay. It's a punishment for that, man. Right. And we're here to tell you, man, look. This truth is exposing a lot of things, man. It's exposing this, this world. And, and and guess what? They don't like it. And it's fine. And you could do whatever you think you're going to do. Right? But at the end of the day, the Lord is going to deliver his men. The Lord woman, one of those men, man. Okay? So with that, loving video is edifying. Only I can got something from this video. I might do a part two on this video. If the spirit hit me, I might, you know, go on deeper into 2 Thessalonians. Um, after the spirit hit me, I might, man, Lord willing. But again, Lord, Lord willing, this one was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, or Kwakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.